Hi guys, how's it going? It is your boy Brad SK22, and welcome back to another video. Yes, this one isn't a reaction madness or a gaming madness or anything relating to songs, games, or all like that. It's first time you're doing this, so if you guys like this kind of video, let me down. Let me know down in the comments because I have seen a couple of films recently and if you want this to continue and me to do this it'd be really interesting to see if you guys like it but today we're here with a review and the reason why I am doing this review is because I think the people are taking too much hate for this one film that came out on Halloween and it is the prayer of the devil I will start off saying that I understand that people and horror fans will have different opinions on different films and different joys of films and different ways of talking about films and what they liked and what they disliked and the reason why I wanted to do this is because I was watching Pray for the Devil with one of my mates at the Harvey Paxton show and we kind of had a little talk about it after and it gave me the idea of actually sitting down and doing a review on it so like I said if you guys enjoy this let me know down in the comments like the video subscribe and press the notification bell and let's get into it. Pray for the Devil came out on Halloween weekend. It was meant to be one of the biggest films that was meant to show and drop for Halloween. I know you had Halloween Ends and you had Terrify 2 that was streaming, which I watched that Terrify 2. If you guys want me to do a review, then let me know down in the comments because I will gladly do so. I love that film. And I can do a review on number one and number two. So let me know down below if you guys want that. A lot of films came out this Halloween over the October period. And some of them was good. Some of them was bad. And there's that middle part of some people that are like, it wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. This is my opinion and what I thought of the film. I have got Harvey, my mate Harvey at the Harvey Paxton show his sort of views on it and I will explain this in the video as we go along. Right here you've got the, f the actual poster for Pray for the Devil. So Pray for the Devil is not based on, somewhat based on true stories and it's based on true exism cases that actually happened and it follows them kind of that way across and it follows the first woman to do exorcism for me like i said this is just my opinion all the way through so if you get annoyed or you dislike what i say i'm sorry but this is my opinion on it pray for the devil if we pull up one screen of the website so pray for the devil is com it's a film that combats a global rise in demonic possession uh, possessions and reopen schools to train priests to perform exorcisms although nuns are forbidden to perform the ritual because back then it was a men's job a profession a professor recognizes and he sees her gifts and he agrees to train her trust on a spiritual uh, front line she soon finds herself in a battle for the soul of a young girl who possesses by some demon that tormented her own mother years earlier so the backstory of the film spoilers if you haven't seen it yet i don't know if you haven't seen it because you haven't found time whether you looked at the reviews and you don't see like the reviews or if you want to see it and you just don't know how to which you can just go to the cinemas but this is spoiler for anyone going forward 
So if you have seen it, stay tuned. If you haven't and you want to watch this video, you're more welcome to stay. I hope you like the video. If you click off the video by now and you're waiting till it comes out, please come back to this video once you've seen the film and comment what you think and your thoughts on the film and anything that I say in this video. And it'd be good to have a talk with people and what they think about this film. So we've just read the brief description right here. And basically, the film starts off with Sister Anne, or Anne, being a young a little girl, praying in her room as her mother is calling out her name. And her door is locked, so her mum starts to be worried. Starts out pretty normal as you think of a horror movie would start. There's trauma, there's that worriness for the child, there's that there. And then... You see slowly the mum getting more angry and more angry and her voice starts to get deep, darker and deeper and you can feel the tense of the tone of her voice getting worse and worse and then she starts banging her head on the door. Like full on whacking her head on the door like she's banging on the door with her hand but she ain't, it's her head. Then it skips on to Aunt, Sister Anna now because she's turned, she's a sister going to be a sister in this global catholic church roman catholic church and there's men and women women were nurses to look after the patients the men was trained for exorcism and they was learned how to do it and how to perform it as well sister anne was intrigued so went to the lesson one lesson of this professor that teached exorcism and she sat down and the professor continued then after one of the higher sisters came up to her and said that you're not allowed to be in that room um, it is a man's job and don't forget this film is about the first woman exorcism like the first woman to ever like do it then as the story goes along you see that this little girl that sister Anne has made a connection with comes out more demonic and she comes out more evil the tone the sinister look throughout the film you see her the girl out and about and stalking her if you will and throughout the whole thing you see the connection with with sister Anne and this girl developing a bit more as well as christian navarro which is father dante they started sister Anne and father dante started making a connection as well throughout the film sister Anne came more interested in exorcism but she wasn't allowed and she got close to the girl as well. So Father Quinn, which is one of the professors, said that she has a bond with the with de with the devil, and she has this connection that no one seems to really have, and is never seen before. So he wanted to be the one to teach her, or to learn to teach her how to not do a full exorcism. But teach her enough to protect herself and others if it ever came to the situation sister Anne had trauma and it does flashbacks between the, in the film she had trauma going through her childhood with her mother and it came to realization through the as it goes through the film that you see flashbacks of her mum being possessed and one minute her mum can be totally fine there's one part in the film where Anne is sat on the bed being all worried about her mum combing her hair and you really don't know why and she's got her mum's brushing her hair softly and very calmly and then next minute she can't, she starts ragging the comb through her hair and leaving clumps in the hairbrush after it's happened. Throughout the film you realise also through the flashbacks that there is times that the mum feels guilt after doing what she's done and that her mum didn't know she was doing it at the time and as it goes on through the story you see this little girl getting possessed that sister Anna's made a bond with she gets possessed 
and it goes through the story with her and the little girl and her training and it comes to the end when it comes to one middle scene where father Dante's sister got raped in the film and had to give up a baby and something possessed her and possessed that guilt and that guilt of giving up that child that guilt of whatever happened and the child was born and it giving giving it away so don't don't saw something in and as she was working with this little girl in the church but so then don't said i've got this sister i understand what you do and what you see because you speak to the person and you bypass the possession you f see past the exes you see past the devil kind of thing and you see the person inside and he talks about his sister and what she's been through and they go to the house off books because by that 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 time they wasn't fully learn they it was against the church rules to actually do anything like that and because Anne sister Anne was only dare to learn how to protect herself and others she was n never meant to put herself in that situation it was breaking the rules also they get to the house and the mother mother of father Dante says that she's been a the sister his sister has been asleep for three days it comes to the point where they're setting up for the actual exorcism and stuff starts happening sister Anne puts crosses on his sister uh, father David Dante's sister and it wakes them up as it burns the skin as she does the cross on the forehead then she sees the sister clawing at a tummy. She removes the blanket to see what she's doing and she's got scars where it's burnt her belly. With the story that Dante told her about her sister and the guilt that the sister has with the baby, the devil that she was possessed by leached onto that and it started becoming an exorcism. But like sister Anne, and Dante has seen from Sister Anne. Anne, Sister Anne saw the sister inside and not the demon that was possessing her. And they thought that they was helping her and a lot of stuff happened. It was a bit mad, the effects was really good. And I think parts of this film that was in this middle section was really good. And we'll get into later why I think why it didn't do so well in cinemas because I've heard really bad reviews on it. And like you see here, Rotten Tomatoes, 19%. And there's a lot of people that really didn't like it and thought it was a waste of a horror film. But this is my thoughts and I will put this across. Might be a long video. I will try to keep this video as short as I can. But let's continue. So, they thought they got rid of the demon and it got back to them being in the church and the higher priest, which was Matthews, took her in, sat, wanted to talk to her so the, uh, another sister brought her in and they were started talking and apparently the sister took her life in like the morning after so it was Dante that was crying so throughout the film you see all this happening and then sister Anne says I want to go back to the sisters where she was before and it shows glimpse of a little bit of a past of sister Anne when she was 15 having a baby but putting it up for adoption because of everything that she's been through and she was 15 giving it up for adoption and never seeing it again after that the sisters accepted her and made what wanted to let her know that god was still there for her and then it cuts through her being there and father dante coming back giving her a rosemary bead necklace 
with a cross on it. And when she first saw this necklace, she was shocked. She didn't know where it came from. And when after Father Damien told her what had happened, I paused the film with my mate and said, it could only lead to two ways. It could either go that sister Anne gets possessed and she goes back there for all, for the actual priest that was teaching her to do an exorcism on her. Or they had to call her back to do an exorcism on someone else because they really needed their help. Five, like three minutes back into watching the film, they wanted her back to help her because of the situation. And you find out that the rosemary beads was from her little daughter, little baby from when she gave her up from adoption because you see him wrapped around the baby's hand as she's been carried away. When it goes into the finale of the film, it is a big exorcism apart on the little girl and for Sister Anne. And it is very emotional at that stage for Sister Anne as she finally realises who the girl is and she understands why she didn't want the child, not want, she didn't feel like she could have the child. And the final battle of this exorcism was a big turn. Like, yes, it might have been a little bit predictable and you might have seen bits of what would happen at the end coming. But personally, I think the beginning where you see the mum banging her head on the door is that they've done that to draw people in to keep watching the film. They have the middle part where it's got brief, like two parts of an exorcism that what you came to see for and then it has the actual storyline of her learning with all this going through it and how she be how she becomes the first woman exorcism then you've got the final which i think wasn't that bad either but i have said to my mate after we watched the film the middle part is where i think is getting most hit and i like i said to my friend you would have thought that they put the childhood in the beginning and then they'd slowly bring her into the school she'd slowly start to learn and get interested and then your final bat exorcism where they did the um, little parts throughout the film of the mother of Anne when she was little and flashbacks of Anne when she was 15 and her doing two exorcisms and going through the storyline and then you've got the final ending but it's all mixed up and i will say one thing about the film i don't know the budget of what this film was on and i'm interested to know what the actual budget for the film is because i've looked tried looking and i haven't seen anything but this is the because i've seen people ask is it a real story and like i've said the film is inspired by these actual exorcism cases and school school by the church to fight evil so it's not technically at all a true story but it's true cases that has happened through exorcism and like i said to my friend obviously they've got to add a bit of cgi in there they've got to add them sounds to make you jump the jump scares itself they have to put all that in there to make a good horror film and i think personally for me i i have seen worse horror films than pray for the devil so i don't understand why people are crapping on this film so much as they are i think for exorcism films you've got the first and original exorcism film which is a classic which is top that no one can be and every exorcism film is going to be linked back to that because that is the original that is the concrete made film of exorcism so one everyone fall hit fell in love with every horror fan fell in love with you can agree with that you can disagree with that but it's original you cannot 
mess with that. You cannot say that it's crap for it's the first time for anything seen like that. And I think every exorcism film is going to be based back onto that. And I think that's what most people have done. Like I've said, the beginning part I thought was good. The middle part, apart from the two exorcisms, was okay. The two exorcisms, I think, was really good. And the way they did it was well put together. And then the final ending was really good as well. I think the middle part of the film, they could have maybe spread it out a little bit. And introduced it more slowly. Because like me and my friend were saying after the film. They showed everything in the trailer. Pretty much nearly the first 40 minutes of the film. Everything from the trailer was mostly in that first half an hour 40 minutes. And then it left you thinking well what's next. They've seen, we've seen everything from the actual trailer. This is why when I react to trailers and I react to actual film reviews and film that films that will be coming out i always say i hope the film is like the trailer or tops it because i know this is how pe i know coming from doing media in college and this and other i know how people can divert it to other films and it looks like this or it could be like this and people can crap on it if it's too long in the middle or it drags or if it doesn't have the big impact at the end and i think that people are crapping on it a bit too much for what the film is like i said i am interested in your guys comments and your reviews down below and i like i said i don't know the budget of the film and i don't know what the budget was to make the film but I have looked up this. Pray for the Devil was released alongside worldwide expansions, projected to gross seven slash eight million dollars from two thousand nine hundred and eighty theaters in the opening weekend. That was the project projected gross. The film made two point five million dollars 2.8 million dollars sorry on on the first day it got released including 6600 660000 dollars from the Thursday night previews that was out in cinemas it went on debut it went on to debut to 7.2 million dollars and finishing third at the box set and like I said, I don't know what it started off with and I don't know the actual budget it was to make the film and direct it and everything like that. But to have figures like that of the film in cinema, getting that much money on first day release and Thursday night reviews, Thursday night previews, and then being de went on to debut $7.2 million dollars and finishing third on the box set i don't think it's bad to say that it could have possibly got its money back or even more i think even though you have people that have crapped on it they've had to see it to crap on it then you have people that are definitely want to see it because the trailer made it look really really good and they are very interested in to do it to watch it no matter what the reviews say then you've got the third party of people that i believe that look at the reviews at both sides and then they decide what they go on from that step forward to make that money back from the first day from the first night previews to go on to debut at that much and to be third in box set office in at the box office i think the film has done really really well and i don't understand fully why people are crapping on it because like i said i understand the middle part of the film i understand because apart from the two exorcisms it kind of drifts a little bit and it kind of tells a story but you have to you have to go along with it to tell the story i reacted to this on my channel and I was so excited for this film. Me and my mate both was. 
I don't. I hope you don't mind me saying, but my mate looked at the reviews and looked at the Rotten Tomatoes and the IMB, IMDb, and he kind of got. I won't say persuasive to not watch it, but with pe- looking at people's reviews and seeing what people had said and it being crap and this and other and not being the best film of the Halloween part of the Halloween weekend. I have seen worse exorcism films out there. You can never beat the original. Nothing is going to beat the original, no matter what you say. And everything's going to be compared to that no matter what. Anything from that genre, the exorcism, is going to be compared to that. It is. It's the original. It's going to. Every film review will most likely go back to that. And I'm filming this without looking at another review. It's my first time doing a review. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. I know it's a bit long, but I've only got a little bit more to say. You ha- They will always connect it to the original. And that's fine, because that made the paving stone for all of these other films to come out for Exorcism. It made the paving stone for this, for this, for this, for this to come out. And for people, directors' minds to go wild and how they could show the Exorcism, how they could present it, how they could make their audience feel, how scared they can make them feel, how entwined with the story they can make them feel, how they can make them, the audience feel on the character and how strenuously that bond through a movie screen can happen. I want to just make a point of my mate's review. He sent me on a message on my phone and he's put, they showed everything from the trailer within the first half hour. So it, it made you wonder how they was gonna fill time. Like I said, from the f- trailer, they kind of filled everything in the trailer within the first 30 to 40 minutes. It personally lost me after that. So my, I could see my mate as going through FaceTime, as watching the film, he kind of got distracted and he kind of wasn't paying attention as much. And mate, that's the middle part. Everything from the trailer was the thir- first 30 to 40 minutes. Then it, the middle part kind of drifted, drifted him off and it, it got him off the film. Some of it was a bit predictable because of the clip glitches and other exorcism films, which they're going to relate back to more of them. Couldn't could have give more backstory to the other characters, not just the main character. So maybe like Father Dante, maybe his backstory and to his sister and how that happened. Maybe they could have put that in the middle to make people, when it comes to her scene, or to their scene, shall I say, could have give, you get a brief of what happened to the sister, but not a full-on brief of what what happened and what she went through at the time. You just get what happened, how she is now. So it doesn't go through the full, full brief of it all. Wasn't completely crap boring and somewhat dead and i am compared to the classic exorcism in 1973 cautious to find out the budget if it already made 10 million dollars now i think it's peaked within the space of a week and wouldn't make too much much more money now so he thinks it is peaked during as the week's gone on and he said that they showed everything within the first part, that they could have given more char- the more the characters backstories and everyone's going to be comparing it to the the other exorcism films that are out there, which is a fair do reviews and I understand that. With me, I like I said, I have seen worse exorcism films that are out there and I think that the middle part of the film is where people are crapping on it. I don't think they're crapping on the beginning or the ending. And obviously you have critics out there that do this for a job and it's their opinion and that's fine. Every, every, like I said at the beginning, every different horror fan is gonna have different opinions on different films and that's fine. And you can put out your opinion and that's totally fine because that's what you think of the film. And people can do 
that to theirs if they want to as well. If you don't like the film, that's fair dues. You don't like the film. If you do like the film, then fair, well, fair dues to you. You like the film. But it's different opinions that I think people get too entwined with. And then it starts something and it goes off on one. This is my opinion on what I think of the film. I think that it's better than 19% on Rotten Tomatoes. I would rate the film, I want to say a good... I'd rate the film a good 7. The reason why I say 7 is because you had the beginning that intrigued you. That made you want to sit there and find out what went on. Then you had the ending, which I think was the best way they could have done it with the storyline. I think it's the middle part that led it down. Apart from the two exorcisms, I think it was the middle part that led it down. I think if they rearranged part of the middle parts, and like my mate said, they briefed on Father Dante's and his sister experience as what she went through and how she got possessed and this, that and other, I think it would have made intrig people more intrigued with the film. It wasn't boring like the middle part for me apart from the two exorcisms and going through the storyline was a bit it was dragging a bit and i understand that because they kind of do have to still tell the story and they have to bring it all together for the climax for the finale but i think they could have done a lot better with spacing it out and a bit more in it and adding a little more details and explaining it a little bit more um and with the end i wouldn't change it because what happens with the end i think was a perfect fit into the ending it'd be pretty interesting to know what you guys think of this because it's my first review that i have done like i said if you want me to do more then i will gladly do so because i've seen some good horror movies that are out there i'd be interested to find out what you guys think of them as well and if we agree or if we disagree if you do like this let me know down in the comments and smash the like button and subscribe and press the notification bell i think that it's not the best i do admit it's not the original it's not nothing compared to that because nothing will be and it's not the best and i totally understand that and i totally get that i'm not saying it is the best out there or anything like that it's not the best but it's definitely not the worst that I've seen. The numbers speak for itself. If you look into it, like I said, I don't know what the budget was to start off with, but I reckon they've either got their money back or they have profited of this film. I don't think it's any lower. I don't think they've lost money because of the numbers. But let me know what you guys think of the comment down below. I hope that we can talk about it if you don't agree. If you agree with me, I'd like to know your feedback and what you think of the film down below. But if you have liked this video, comment down below, like the video, subscribe and press the notification bell. If you like me doing these, I would definitely do more. Until the next video, guys, stay safe, stay well, and peace.